rolling? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go. Well, What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Grab your show. drinks. Yep. We're back on episode 14 now. We're in our same place where we were last week. It's all good, but it's a different conversation today, huh, fellas? Just the wrap up of uh, it's not the just the process. same place, but it's literally like five <laughs> minutes later. Yeah. Same place. Let's be careful same when time. we put our drinks down on the table now. Oh, it's we're hitting. realizing that it's hitting the mics. Oh man, I'm still. Speaking of this. hitting the mics, we're this is like one, a production one two, today, right? Three. Oh, I thought you. Go 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 go! No, I'm just kidding. Uh. Oh, bro, we were excited. Three Don't, into the nothing oh. excited. Now we we uh. Our last episode, we ended it with um, you guys were about to start another conversation of uh, production or something like that. And you're about. like, save it for the next one. Yeah, no, here. yeah. I was like, exactly. this production in general, like, we're out in the wilderness yet, have lights, have mics, multiple cameras, and we're doing a whole, like, studio podcast. Nice. In the national forest. It's not a bad setup, and we pack dope, light. Huh? To be yeah, honest, we could have gone bigger a little we bit with the light or lights. I mean, mm-hmm. we could have actually had a, a little bit of a bigger production if we weren't like camping because you're limited. You got to pack your gear and yeah. what you're gonna have for the the trip. So it's. Like, I think sure. too, what we did right now is like have a uh, a plan, and we got an idea of what we brought and who attended to it. You know what I mean? Because that was fun. We did like two setups. We did one there, which was really dope. We kind of miscalculated something on the light, and then we moved it here, and then kind of miscalculated. I mean, we were all running around. We perfectly around. calculated, but we missed the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. We, well, we had some technical technical difficulties with the sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who what about you, Jeff? Guy? What's up? Jeff, uh, this is your first time camping, you said. How are you yeah. feeling? Out? Camping and production in one trip. I like the production part. The camping, uh, not so much. I mean, what, I love, what, no, what I was love the part camping. that you? I think I what love, was the part you didn't like so far? Um, honestly, it's, it's um, when it's time to go to bed and it's just dark and it's freaky, <laughs> so and you, creepy outside. So okay, so okay, that's that, real though. That it's makes scary. sense. The last feels, night was so bright. Outside, it's like we have a full moon. Yeah, when you look outside the window, it's kind of like. And when was last well, time you went camping? Uh, when I was six or seven years old. And that but was that like, makes sense because yeah. you're used to being in the city. You're not used to being like, oh, there's. If something the happens, like, is like legit. What, who am I going to call? It's like, like, it's like pretty wild. Good, yeah, it's definitely a good getaway. Literally. But <laughs> don't be don't be too, like, discouraged from last night because, like, that feeling goes away. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Oh. But, I mean, the reason he kind of felt like that was because we heard something moving on top of the truck, like, super, yeah. like, and middle you don't of the know night. What it, like, you don't know what it is. And, and the crazy yeah. part was, like, it woke me up, too. Like, I woke up, and he was already up, and he's like, hey, did you hear that? So it was yeah. kind of weird. And like, you're like, it's a ghost. Tell me. No, I no it but. Was like a, like a, remember Chupacabra? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, for real, bro. I don't, well, no, I thought they caught it already. Did they? I yeah, man. I don't know. Again, they, they released it uh, somewhere else. I don't know. but yeah, Anyways, um, yeah, whatever. But it was just the wind, yeah, basically. I think tonight I'm going to put a. Um, like, yeah. I think no, tonight I'm, I'm okay, going to put okay. um, headphones on. It picks you up a lot. Well, and just, and like, he doesn't want to hear you no more. kind of forget. It's blowing out. That we're here in the dark. You're blown out. <laughs> <laughs> I got blown. Keep this professional, sure. <laughs> right? No, this is a chill like, ass oh, podcast. Shit, like, we it's, were, we're talking about Jeff, like uh, brews being after camping. a shoot. Like, camping's dope. Mm-hmm. Camping's awesome. It's like a good it. way to wrap up a shoot. Have a I drink like with a the fellas, and it's the only way to wrap up a shoot, really. But a pro tip. But what would you guys do? To, uh, yeah, pro tip. Now I said not to bring or uh, over bring food or something. Like yeah, because you do have always at least one day extra though. Yeah. Like, if you don't have extra food. But like, not one week extra like they did. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, like, sometimes you just want to stay an extra day or yeah. sometimes, like, stuff oh, happens yeah. and you're That's stuck true. an extra day. That's true. Like, That's have different. extra food. I mean, my boss actually just got stuck in Texas mm-hmm. with the freeze in a camper. Yeah. And it's like, dude, it was a week. And he said, like, the shelves were bare. Like, you couldn't go to the store to buy anything. Like, got to make do. Did so, you have water? pack At extra least? food. Damn. That's smart, yeah. You know That's what? Like, point. the current stuff going on, too, just makes you want to just do that anyways. <laughs> Get your little emergency kit. Frankie has a yeah. bunch, like, no, a crazy. No, like, the first aid no, kit you have in your car. <laughs> he has a lot of band-aids, yeah. for sure. Oh, you got a first aid kit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. He has a first aid kit. Well, oh, can I say <laughs> that? <laughs> that? I was going to say that. It's like, <laughs> I was like. <laughs> can I say something, Franco? Do you have to bring, like, uh, protection, like, a gun or a machete or something. Just cause I'm just saying, cause are you I mean, you protection? Safety. I was no, like, no, I know what we're safety, I don't use protection. <laughs> Imagine you're coming with a family. I'm married. I mean, your family and kids. Oh, <laughs> you hit the rock. Oh, fuck. You know what? This Miguel. is a shit show. <laughs> All right, bro. Go ahead. Set it down. 
There it is. Go. All right, I won't kick it this hey, time. Hey guys, this is a wild podcast. Don't worry. All right, well, so I put it there, brother. Yeah, because you speak in that way too hot. Yeah, you guys are all yelling and shit. All right, so <laughs> I mean, when it comes to like bringing protection <laughs> for like camping, to, yeah. it's like I mean, it's a it's a debatable thing, right? Like if right. you're going to campground and you got to check in, it's like probably not. But when you're going into the wilderness, you know, some people are like, oh, you know, you got to keep it light, and everyone's nice and friendly, but right. you know. Like I'm you're out in the about, wild and it's like and stuff like that or something that's oh if you're if you're running into bears like i don't know what you're bringing like are you bringing a <laughs> well, cannon no, i mean this I is mean, basically heard, the best that we, we can do it. we have some bears earlier bears, we we heard like pew, pew, yeah pew, there's pew, pew, pew. like yeah. pew, pew. it's not a bad idea to have something to protect yourself when you're out in the wild yeah yeah i'll sure. just say that yeah okay. against yeah. animals or other did you guys ever see a, a movie it was with Kevin Bacon into the was it Into the Wild? It's no, wild. that's not. No, with that's Kevin Bacon. the one where the kid went out to Alaska. Yeah, What's and the he, one he with Kevin Bacon? By eating it's, little berries. Uh, where Kevin Bacon's like the uh, villain in that one. And oh, in the yeah, rafting yeah, one. Yeah, yeah they're rafting. It. It's a family. It, that is that rafts. the one where he's like wild, river or like wild, River Wild? River Wild. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a great movie. That could happen, though. There's no river here, though. It's Dried Creek. <laughs> Creek Wild. <laughs> this is more like the Blair Witch Project, I think. I'd say this is more like it's not, fire it's not bad. The Revenant. Well, <laughs> the hey, Revenant. Who, who wants to do a podcast like this? Uh, bring us out. We'll set you up legit. <laughs> we'll bring four mics to, to that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four. And batteries. <laughs> no, seriously, we're just packing super light. So This was a of, learning experience for yeah. sure. Of it like wasn't super everybody. planned. Like, oh, let's. Also, all of us like have a bunch of like the same random gear spread out mm-hmm. when like in a crew, like everybody, like you said, Frank should bring a specific uh, like role. Thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or operate. Everybody has their job. So, I mean, I think that's what's cool about what we set up today. It's like we all put in our part in, like, every aspect of it. But I think what would have made it a lot smoother so that we don't have to set up twice or, like, miss those spots is, you know, just like on an actual set, you have the director, the producer, and the light guy, the audio guy, and the camera guy. Right. So, moving forward, or, like, a question for everybody here, like, from this experience, how did it or has it affected maybe some of your next purchases moving forward or some of your next goals moving forward as far as equipment or production ideas go um in the next few days months or something i, I think if anything like for all of us this doesn't mean no, we're gonna for you like what like what are you working on now or like do you have any purchases that you were gonna do well like, that's kind of what i'm saying i think well i was just gonna say just looking at today i think we all pretty much know how important lighting is Mm-hmm. So like, 100%. that's not on my immediate like to do list like because I just purchased lighting, but I do yeah. want to even get more lighting. So today I think is an eye opener for I think all of us like oh, how important is lighting? Like the more light the better. You can never have too much light. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So yeah, it's and light I think is one of the, those things that doesn't fade out of of importance. Like mm-hmm. everyone's always raving about the next camera body. Yeah. It's like the R5 came out, the A7S, whatever came out. I don't know what they're on, like 12. Um, but I mean, it's like that technology goes out of mm-hmm. out of prominence like every six, seven months. Yeah. But lights, like lights are lights. Yeah, Some started, of them change colors, off, but it's when like... When I started off shooting uh, videos, I thought lenses were like the thing, like, oh, what lens I'm going to get. But man, when you start going in the field in the real world, it's like lighting is super yeah. important. But I mean, if you're only a cinematographer, like if you're only yeah. like the camera guy, mm-hmm. On a professional sure. setting, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you don't have Lenses to worry about for lights. Sure. But if you're going out there and you're the one man show that's doing everything, right. like you could take a rebel and light the scene up dope, yeah. and the rebel's still gonna look the, good. The yeah, perfect thing that I that I told him because we were talking about lights was like, he asked me like what I think like should I get like a cool lens because like it's always cool getting an upgraded lens. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, or I want to get this light. Like, what would you do? And I was like, well, basically, like, I think the lighting is important because you could have really good lighting and shoot it with an iPhone versus a really good camera with bad lighting. And then you're going to have, like, a it's crappy gonna shot. It's going to look really bad in high depth. So it's like you could make a cell phone look good with good lighting, get that first. That, like, affects your immediate production right away. After that, then you could upgrade the glass for the artsy stuff. Right on. For good me, time. it was sound, actually. And only because right now, like, I'm listening to the sound and dealing, like, with the Zoom and the two mics. We forgot. Mm-hmm. I forgot some mics. 
I, I kind of depended on other people to bring more stuff, which is not a good idea, but I didn't have them anyway. So like my thing is I want to get more mics and right now that I'm trying to do more podcast stuff, I want it like dedicating to certain things, whether it's like light or cinematography. Right now, I think I want to put focus into the audio side of it and specifically in podcasts like this setup, like more mics, a sound mixer, and maybe more cameras to just get more uh, angles, you know? Mm -hmm. So for me in the near uh, future and purchases and like something I head towards, I think it's going to be that like two more of these mics to have a full set of four, more headphones, how to run lines out for everybody to have a headphone, um, and then how to mix it. I want to get into like mixing the cameras too and not do it in editing. So I'm looking at the that black magic that's uh, ATEM mini. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, I'm gonna roll with that. That's one. something that's I cool. lack on, dude. It's sound. I, I kind of don't. Really Sounds a huge too deal too. Yeah. It's kind of weird because like from looking at like I think like as a viewer you just watch like a video and you're like oh it looks cool mm-hmm. and just because it looks cool like you kind of associate that the sound and stuff is just gonna be on par mm-hmm. with like yeah. how cool it looks. But then people don't understand. I even saw something where they were talking about the the sound was like you could have like the best looking footage, but if the audio is really bad, you're not gonna yeah. want to watch it. Like yeah, sure. they well, say, sound, sound is like into like vocal audio. Yeah, yeah <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, look into that for sure. <laughs> pretty much. They say sound is sixty percent of the viewing experience. And what you were saying that people watch a video and like it's all cool and stuff. I think subconsciously, you might not realize, or most people don't realize, it's cool because of the sound that they're hearing Mm -hmm. and stimulating their uh you know their viewing experience like the last one you did mix the terra mana Mm -hmm. uh tequila really good like it took you a while to do it but i see why it took you a while because like your whole production was legit you're like i love what you did with it and i did notice the little touches with the sound like clean ass shots with the sound of the ice going into your cup and you have that sound there like it's it's hard it I think sound is like the marketing, right? Like you're trying to convince a company they need marketing, but it's hard to like uh, value. A lot of people have a hard time valuing marketing Mm -hmm. and investing in it. Like sound is that, like you can't see sound Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you experience sound in a way that you don't like be like, I like that video because of the sound. Yeah, like it sounded really cool. Mm -hmm. Like It's like the unseen It's like your brain kind of is on autopilot. Yep. Like you're like say you're like working for a marketing company or something and you're like oh this looks really good the sound is something that they think comes standard yeah like stand right. is so it's so unappreciated that it's like it's ridiculous but yeah basically they expect for that to already be taken care of like i just want the yeah. visuals to look good sound is an issue why is it like and it's like one of the favorite videos i've worked on um that's what set it apart it's like we had five mics on this truck and it really like made the video stand out from that department where every other video is just like there's a truck going by and we have like the on camera mics and maybe one mic on the truck or right. a car that one like mm-hmm. like brought everything together when i went to uh when i was in morocco on that race and i i met a lot of other journalists on this story that i went on and one girl was from NPR in New York and she was working on a a story for the NPR radio station on the race in the desert in Morocco. And I was, so we were like together throughout the trip. So I uh, would interview her and ask her questions because I was watching her walk. All she had was her little Tascam recorder and a Sennheiser mic. And she was like walking around, like, you know, close up on the tires, digging through the sand or the cars going over a sand dune, like, like the motor, some people talking and laughing, like kind of back, like I, and then she would interview people, of course. And then she puts a story together. And I remember at the time that I met her, I was listening to a lot of NPR here locally and like different stories that people put. And I say visually in a contextual way that like you totally imagine things with sound. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so it was interesting to speak with her and imagine the story she was going to put together of the race with the sound of, I don't know. So like I was walking around trying to do some sound and we're losing lights here, huh? Yeah, lights we got, if you're it's watching, like, you might notice. It's like a, a chip tooth smile. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're getting that I mean, I say we keep so going good. until all the lights yeah. are gone. But That'll uh, be like the wrap-up. And for like, those uh, of you uh, who listening, want... we're, we're talking about we have lights set up on us. We're in the forest right now. We have like a lot of awesome but lights. But they're all like wire. Oh, what? hello again. <laughs> One turned Back on. Back for more. Oh, damn. Sometimes so, you got the little extra push. I think we need to start a pool on like which lights gonna go next. Like <laughs> I think it's oh, gonna be one of these. Like, for that's sure. gonna be one, two, good. three. I think the one that's batteries. 
Yeah. I, I think maybe mine. Yeah. Which sure. one is yours? He the said bottom. for sure. Is that three? One, two, That's three? The top two are mine. Uh, I mean, like, okay. I'm, I'm going to say one of these three, but sound, maybe mine. I can mine. hear that truck coming in the back. Like, it sounds From dope. a mile away, though. But, it, like, for you guys listening. Oh, it's going to pull up. Yeah, like, they're right still coming yeah, up like, There's a lot of off-road vehicles oh, yeah. that go by here. And we hear, oh, like, yeah. oh, there it goes again. Yeah. So there's one, two, one, two, three, four, okay, five. I think we're going to lose one on this side, though. That one was bound well, to go out again. Any final thoughts? Maybe we should wrap. Let's go Toyota get a fire group. started. Yeah. Um, Final thoughts? Well, you know, I think it's pretty fun. I think it's fun that we were all able to, like, link up and put this together, and we all, like, brought our gear. But I'm actually more excited about, like, you actually filming with us. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Dude, you I'm actually, impressed. because, give because we I'm haven't, impressed. but we haven't done any kind of, like, I mean, me and you have done, like, yeah. oh, let's go and shoot and mess yeah, around yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But this is kind of cool that I we could this. all go out and, like, yeah. use our gear. Yeah. And it's it's cool because. it's not the last time. No, I won't. Definitely not. But it's it's just good to have you here for the first time, like, because we kind of mess around like that a lot. Mm -hmm. It's just cool to have you around and like see what your experience is like, actually. And then see how we can. um, Hopefully, this gives us more ideas of projects or things we could pitch or things we could do together and help each other to like do dope projects. Like this is dope. We all came through. I think. uh, And like, if any one of you came to me with an idea that you were solid on, like, I want to do this. I have like a plan blah 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 like mm-hmm. i'll i'll follow you to that plan you know what i mean like uh, yeah yeah we're c- kind of gonna support say there's each too other. many in uh too many chiefs not enough indians like i'm an indian for you to be a chief what's what's the uh the, what's the analogy the, no the, the other one uh like it takes a village what's the whole thing hmm. i don't know I but by yeah, yeah. it takes a village to kid. raise a child <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that one i wasn't going that deep like, that's that one <laughs> <Coming daddy. laughs> <laughs> no, what's the other one though? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. Something about like. But another- can't, basically, you can't do things alone. Like you, you mm-hmm. need like a team. No, it's like I think what's interesting here is uh, we have a what's it called a jack of all trades. Like I think everyone at this table is a jack of all mm-hmm. trades. Like we could mm-hmm. all kind of like if you give and you a job, to, like, a specific job, stay on that. Yeah. Yeah. Jack of all trades, master of none, and we need to put everybody <laughs> as a master on one. Right. Oh damn, that was deep. So that where? Deep. Yeah. yeah. Where's the next location? Where do you well, guys think? Do you have a project? Death I'm telling Valley. you guys, I want to do a project 10, 10 episodes. If if oh, one yeah. of us could come up with one first, then we all should support that ten episodes. Series. Yeah. Whoever has the plan laid out already. We should well, do a pitching. Like everybody pitch a a, a, a series, and Hello, then be, and then we all say like, let's go with this one, and then that person wins, and they're the director of that That'd series. Be cool. What 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 um I guess. What, what, what? What 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 what? <laughs> what were your thoughts on like the trip though? Besides being all scared, I love it, dude. Hiding under the like blankets. It. No, no, honestly, I like it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's like it's... the production side though. Like now you, like dude, we almost, we never done this. No, like, honestly, with you. It's, a, it's almost addicting. You kind of want to keep going, because it's fun just to set the cameras in different locations, different angles. It's just that's kind of cool. What do you and think about? Was, go ahead. I was gonna say, and then like you and I were talking about it too. Is like the the natural light it's like how you work oh, within what's available right yeah. versus like in a building or a studio like what yeah. do you think about that it's side of it unique you don't get that everywhere like that just that picture in the background of uh, the sun setting you know it's like you can't do that you know in studio what what's and, the difference too like besides um like because we've actual actually worked with clients and stuff like yeah. that i mean you know you're working with me at the yeah, city yeah. and all that like y- we don't really feel like I mean it's cool, but we're working and it's not like some stuff that we're go, super I, I, interested in versus this like this it, setting is a lot more creativity. Like your everyone's mind and creativity and input is like important. So mm-hmm. having having this is like I don't know, it's a little more freedom. It's if cool. you guys were to like, like do another thing like this, like another project, uh and we had the same amount of crew. How, what would you assign stuff? Not like each person, but like a, a light person, a sound person, I think, a DP, yeah. and a director. I think we learned you, from this one. Or would you do a, a fifth director and four positions? I position? say everyone have uh, a assigned job. task. Assigned so yeah, task. so like light is one. Light, audio. Um, Shots, like camera, like DP. Yeah, yeah, cinematographer. Cinematographer. cinematographer yeah. And then you need like somebody just and kind of overlooking everything. Yeah. I feel like the uh, DP and director could be... They for work some, together. Yeah, they something have something like this mm-hmm. could even be the same person. Because, because it's like it's a not, pyramid, bro. You're like trickling yeah, down. True. It's that's not true. like we need to think about like what's the next shot going to be and what's the flow mm-hmm. of the script. It's yeah. like 
I think the DP and the director in this one are the same. We all wore a lot do of hats you, today, you, though. No, that was cool. But that, yeah. yeah I, I guess I that's so. the advantage, too. Like, you could kind of rely on, on... I saw Jeff over there doing his thing. Like, I already know he's going to get his, like, framing and stuff. Like, it's not like it's yeah. an amateur that's never touched the camera. Right. And then we could all move. But to, you just tell him what you're looking for. Yeah. yeah. Like, so as a director, it's like, hey, I need... Th- like and it's like two people, yeah. two people, a full shot, and right. maybe like. But it's like what you said when you were gonna change camp. that camera there, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's fine." You're like, "Oh no, but what?" It, I was like, "No, I trust you." Get and he mm-hmm. said, "No, but come look at it because or Frank will come." So in that thing, I think that person that is gonna be doing all that shouldn't have to tell somebody. Well, let me see. Well, the only reason I, I said that, though, that the only though. reason I said that though is because. It's your production. The light changed already, well, in and that like case, that I exposure been the one is a big on that deal. Job. No, well, right. no, not necessarily because you you're, you, you're a... able to wear two hats sometimes when you're like, if you could, you know, be part of the production, but also yeah. step back. You could also chime in, like, like, oh, I see this, like, cool, I like it, or I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Like he's framing it, but someone else is lighting it, and someone else is setting up audio. But as the director, true, true. you need to oversee all of that. Right. So you're the guy that needs to sit there with headphones, yeah, and like the the monitor, the just, wireless yeah. video monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Word. So hey, it'd be cool to um, next because I think we're I'm about. To cut you off. Uh, I know we cut. I don't want to uh, let the battery die. It's about to die, and we're gonna wrap it up. Okay. But to say thank you guys for coming again on a fucking episode. Effing, yeah. but uh, I think I, I would love to do another one and do something like that in the future. We talked about it when we had our friend Durf on sets and stuff too about like everybody pitch an idea, you be the director, and then you manage your crew, and we just divide the gigs up between. But then like your project, your director, your project, your director. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I would love if you guys have I uh, audio died. If you guys have ideas, pitch them to me. We pitch them to each other, and then we could uh. Do projects make it happen? People. Yeah, because we need a project for yeah, someone to for pitch sure. to do. Yeah. And and we can't really blame anybody, man. Like, we're well, like this is done, so somebody. And it's kind of like whoever's the first one that has all their ideas and has everything ready and has jobs. Mm-hmm. You set your rules, like you I'm know what I mean? Yeah, like, cool. Sure. We'll help cool. you. We'll help. On that you. note, cheers. Thanks, guys. Salute. Next time. Next time. Bam. 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 Raptor unwrapped. No. <laughs>